As I try to capture through words the horror that those innocent souls experienced in their last moments of life, I realize that my words fail me. My words are not enough. Instead, I sit in shock and silence with a broken heart. I see gunfire and smoke. I hear bullets, screams and cries. I smell the smoke, tears and the fear. And I can feel the last breath of every man, woman and child as they slip away, having fallen victim to a cruelty that my words will never adequately describe and my mind will never truly comprehend. Many of those people had run away from places where such tragedies were always a real possibility. They came to New Zealand for the safety, peace and dignity she offered them. These are our fellow human beings who happen to be born in a different places and have a belief and culture that is part of their upbringing. Like anybody else who is born in a Christian, Jewish, Hindu or Buddhist home, they were born in an Islamic family and like everybody else, they have right to follow and practice their religion. Everyone is capable of appreciating a peaceful society or becoming a productive part of it. If it was not for the geopolitical wars inflicted by resource-hungry oil cartels, the Middle East would have remained the cradle of peace. Baghdad would have truly been a city of peace, as its names suggest Dar es Salaam. Kabul would have remained the most hospitable city of the world. Damascus would have remained a tourism haven and a bridge to the ancient civilizations. And the Muslim greetings, as would have been truly celebrated as a gesture of peace upon thee. I myself am a refugee from such places and came to Australia to live a peaceful and dignified life like many others. I came to this country over three decades ago and since then I have committed my whole life and family to celebrating, promoting, teaching and living the ideals of peace, harmony and acceptance. But today I mourn. Those bullets were fired in the Al Noor Mosque in the Christ Church in New Zealand. Al Noor means the light. Mosque means the place. You bow down to that universal light of God worshipped in all religions. The guns were fired and innocent and defenseless bodies dropped in a pool of blood while worshipping in a mosque. Those bullets did not just kill over 50 people. They also shattered the hope of millions who have faith in their democratic systems and believe that they are protected. Those bullets make millions of children feel defenseless and unsafe. Those bullets are an attack on every peace-loving person in this world. Those bullets are like a knife ripping apart our society and leading us to despair. Those bullets are the cause of disgrace for every soldier who fought for freedom and democracy. Those bullets rip open the heart of every sincere teacher who educated their students for a civil and progressive and peaceful society. Those bullets are directed to believers of all religions who hope that their ideas are noble and worth practicing. Those bullets are aimed at every scientist and physician who works hard to save lives. We are all in it together. We are all the target of violence, terrorism and cruelty that those bullets unleashed. Yes, we lost 50 innocent and precious lives and many more wounded, but we must all stare back into the cold and cruel eyes of the terrorist and say that we will never give up hope for a peaceful 
society. We will never stop being peace-loving, non-violent and civilized people. Your barbarism will never change my compassion. Your ignorance will never obscure my awareness of the light which binds all of us together into a singular energy form that pulsates in all our hearts. Today we all stand up together, we the teachers, the preachers, the soldiers and the leaders, the farmers and the traders, the theists and atheists, the artists and the scientists, the healers and the alchemists, the police and the judge. All who stand up for the Mother Earth as a human custodian of the life and peace on the planet Earth. We condemn the cruel and murderous act of terrorism inflicted upon the Muslim community of Christchurch on Friday 15 March. Thank you.